what's up guys welcome or welcome back to the channel it's your boy Tim and I'm here with another video and before we get started how about you do me a favor could you just go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel like this video subscribe to the channel you know you might not even know what this video gonna be about maybe you read the description maybe you read the title but if you did it, that's still okay because you know we coming at you with another banger. I just stuttered. So today, um, it's just me and I got the little one back there. I got Adea. Um, Leisha and Asa are at home because Asa is sick today, so get to stay home from school. But today is Adea's two-month appointment. Um, now, clearly, I'm driving because we're on the way, um, so my apologies if I'm not looking at y'all as much as I like to because I don't want to get in no accident. But yeah, so this is a special little treat for me because I rarely get the opportunity to take her to her appointments. I don't. I don't really know if I've been to any of her appointments yet, honestly. Um, or if I have, I don't remember. So, like, I haven't been to much. Where with Asa, I was able to go to, like, almost all of them. So, um, this is a special treat for me because I get to go. Um, also, Leisha, I don't think, really wanted to go to this one because she, uh, I think Daya has to get shots today. So, yeah, she's never really excited for those, understandably. But, you know, I'm going to be the strong parent. And um, we're going to get it done today. So, yeah, I'll check in with y'all as we get a little closer and are about to walk in. One more thing, guys. I forgot to also tell y'all. So today's going to actually be a little bit of a, uh, I guess, an errand type run. Um, and since I have the day off, um, you know, we got a couple different places to go. We got to go to the store. Um, we got to go to the church and pick up the church laptop so that I can get some uh, work, try to get some work done for the church. Um, and then we got to stop by my parents' house because they have two things, actually. They have diapers um, for Ace, diapers slash pull-ups for Ace because we're trying to break him into pull-ups now. Uh, so I'm going to pick some of those up because uh, she had like a bunch of them apparently, my mom. And then uh, also because he's sick, so like the sickness he's been having is a fever. If you watched um, one of our previous videos, Leisha is the video where Leisha um, has to take him to the doctor all of a sudden because um, he's like running a high fever or whatnot. And so um, basically they told her that she had to just, uh, or we had to just keep him, um, uh, what's the word, hydrated. We had to just keep him hydrated. And so I'm gonna go, while I'm, while I'm at my parents' house, I'm gonna get some Gatorade. Um, so I ain't got to spend no money. And um, that way we can try to, you know, just get him get him rehydrated. Thankfully, he still wanted water. Like he's been really thirsty. So I don't know, hopefully that's a good thing. Like he still will drink water, but we tried like this off-brand Pedialyte stuff and he doesn't really like the flavor of it. Um, Cause you know, that type of stuff, like it's, it's not super sweet. Um, they got some sweetness to it, I think for taste, but like it is kind of a, salty kind of a uh, solution type of thing so I don't know we're gonna try it just see what we can get done so doctor then probably the store then probably the church then my parents and we'll be back home so I will check in with y'all again probably when we get to the doctor all right peace it to the doctor um we just got back to our room and so i'm gonna go ahead and address her to her pamper and so we can get this visit started um, now obviously i'm a newbie at this because i didn't bring the tripod it's in the car but i just forgot to get it so we'll see what i can get done y'all pray for me Mm-hmm. 
people. Update. We just got her length, her weight, um, her head circumference, and her temperature. So uh, I'll just run through all of those for you. So, as we have here, her weight was 12 pounds and 15 ounces. So she's almost uh, 13 pounds. She's getting big. That's apparently in the 85th percentile, almost the 86th percentile. It's 85.99. Um, her length was 24.2 inches. She's getting long. She's over, uh, basically over two feet long. Um, so yeah, we've been able to see that she's been pretty long too. <clears throat> and we definitely be able to feel that she's been a little heavy um, or getting heavier. Her head circumference was 16.14 inches. I don't know what that means. That's apparently in the 98% time. All right, so we are here for our two month checkup. Yep. Any questions or concerns? The biggest one has just been, I know they, they came in actually last week um, to talk about um, this cough that she's had. Okay. Um, my wife was telling me that they gave her uh, some like steroid or thing, like something to help with it. Okay. Um, and she was actually wondering if she can get it more because she's still been coughing. So basically we just, we've been using um, like saline drop saline spray okay. and like trying to as we hear the congestion, just to try to suck it out. Okay. And so that, that seems to help. We started using a uh, humidifier uh, the night before last. Um, so I don't know, like it's, I mean, those things have been kind of working, but it's, it's the, the, the cough, like the cough will still be kind of persistent. The congestion is still there. Um, so I guess that, that would be kind of one of the main questions. Um, it's just like, what, like if to just continue doing those things, um, to see if she could get more of that medicine, if that was necessary or if that's okay. Um, I think that was about the only thing. Okay. Yeah, I'll check her lungs and listen, make sure nothing's dropped in her lungs. Check her ears, make sure we don't have any other infections going on. Um, so she was diagnosed with croup, which is a very distinct, like, barking cough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'll listen and see if she coughs while I'm in here today. It's a steroid, the medicine we use. It's called dexamethasone. So we really just try to do it one time. Okay. So it's not like something we would just, like, keep giving. Sure. Um, unless she was having, like, difficulty breathing. So she looks pretty comfortable, you know. I don't see any pulling. Mm -hmm. um, so she probably doesn't need the dexamethasone again. Um, it's probably, like... If she still had the croup, she would be getting, at least it was last week she had. I think it was the eighth, yeah. Okay, so she would be getting, um, it's probably worse. The croup will get worse and worse, but like, oh, not okay. better. She probably just has a lingering cough from her cold. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to listen to her while we're talking and everything and see if I care. Right. I will give it to her if she needs it. Um, but otherwise, the best thing to do for her is suction saline, steam yeah. shower, yeah. humidifier. Gotcha. It feels like, what are we doing? Let's give the medicine. But at this age, we really don't give them anything. Right, and that's what we remember, yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, like I said, we've been able, we've seen improvement, because like before it would be, like she couldn't make it through the night just coughing all night long, but since we started that, that she's definitely been sleeping more. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's been nice. Good. How's least. she eating? Um, she's been eating good, it's been actually picking up, because there was a point where she would only do like two ounces in like kind of hour to hour and a half increments, but now she's been back to doing almost a full four awesome. um, every two hours. Awesome. Um, definitely three, but yeah, like she's, her, her eating has picked up. Um, so that's nice because we were kind of worried about that. Um, but yeah, here in, the, in this like probably in the last five days is kind of picked up. I think. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And is she making eye contact with you, smiling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been seeing more of that, yeah. She definitely will make eye contact, follow us around the room, um, will talk, she was just here talking earlier. Oh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let me show you her growth 
Okay. How many is it today? Just two. Oh, just a two? Okay. Yeah. It's three um, immunizations, but one is oral, the, the two are like, Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, she just got her shots. If I was a crier, that probably would have got me because she she yelled. She yelled if you didn't just see it. Um, it's probably a good thing that I came to this appointment than Alicia because Asa's shots were like he he had his moments, but I felt like they were more delayed. Hers were like immediately like, rah, rah, rah. It's like it was it was a lot. So. Okay, let me get back to her. Uh, so, as you can see, we're back in the car. Um, I tried to, you know, get get through the update about the shots in the place, but she was, Bea was, she was on one. I think she might have been in a little pain, you know, still a little agitated about just getting two holes poked in the legs. Um, but I got her fed. Um, she was sleepy too, so that was a part of it. She was sleepy. Um, and she was basically up for the whole appointment. And we, were, we were there for basically an hour. Her appointment was at 10.50. Um, and she more or less was up when, when we got there from the time we left. So, yeah, she was tired. Um, so kind of just got her calm, got her fed. Um, and now we're back in the car. And so I know earlier I told y'all I had all these different errands to run. I don't know who I thought I was or what I thought was going to happen. But I got a whole uh, two month old in the uh, back seat. And so ain't nobody finna be running all these different places with her out. And it's not that we can't do it. I personally don't like to have them out longer than we have to. It's different like if there's like, okay, this is a day, you know, we're going here, we're doing this thing, so it's gonna require us to be out. Like I can mentally prepare for that. Um, this one today was not supposed to be that. Um, it was just like, oh, while you're out, we can get, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And yeah, that's probably not that great of an idea with her right now, at least. Just because, um, yeah, for my mental health, I, I don't want to do that. There it is. I just don't want to. So, um, and also, I, I told you I was going to my dad's house, right? And so, um, I mentioned how I could get the Gatorade from him. But also, um, this uh, my, uh, my wife wanted me to pick up some masks just so like, you know, as people get sick in the house, like if we can to wear the mask, especially like if me or her get sick, we can wear the mask to not get the kids sick again or whatever. Um, so I can see if my dad probably had some of those because I think they kind of stockpiled back when we were wearing a lot of masks for COVID reasons and whatnot. So yeah, more or less, uh, I'm going to try to stop only at my parents' house. That way, um, I don't have to have her out all day. I don't gotta be out all day. 
Um, I can still try to get to some of the stuff I want to do. Um, Work-wise, I got some stuff I need to do for work. Um, and just, just some things that I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to push myself creatively. So let me, let me you know, also take this as a second to give y'all an update. Uh, I've been in a space where I've been trying to push myself creatively. Um, and that just means, like, not so much in trying to be like a, you know, a content creator specifically or anything like that, but really be, um, really be intentional about using my time to do other things that are, I guess, fulfilling. Fulfilling is not the best word, but like find things that that kind of that make me doing things that make me happy. And the best way I can say that is stuff like you know being able to read more because I do enjoy reading when I have time. Um, being able to like study the word, I love um, being able to like dig into, dive into like a spiritual topic and really try to learn more about it or you know reading like that type of like push myself to do that more also just because i want to grow spiritually um so when i say creatively like i mean just in directions that are different than just work or um i don't know just other mundane tasks that, that yes there are things i have to do but like in those times where i have free time i want to use that time more wisely basically what i'm trying to say so um and you know, like I get, you know, I, I, I am tired sometimes, but thank God, uh, day has been sleeping a little better, um, which has been allowing us to get more sleep here and there. So like, I'm not as tired as I was. Um, and on a day like today, where I've already taken off, uh, why not take the opportunity to, you know, do more things. So, um, especially if she can catch another nap when we get home. And, uh, you know, I do have my wife there to try to be helped. So I'm just trying to get to a point where I'm pushing myself to do things. Um, not that's necessarily things that's going to like just cause me to get more drain, but also that's not going to allow me to miss out on what is like, what could be like me missing out on my potential. Like if I, if I could be doing more, but I'm shortchanging myself because I'm saying, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Um, you know, I want to, I want to be able to take advantage of the time that God has given. So. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to attempt to, um, yeah, when I get, like to do less things outside of the house today. So like I said, go to my parents' house. And then I'm going to go to home. And then going home, uh, I will then hopefully, you know, instead of, you know, just being on my phone or getting on the game, I'll edit a video or read some more, um, do some more planning. Like I have goals, right? Like I have things that I want to accomplish that I have not given myself the best effort or the best chance, I guess, opportunity. I've been taking the opportunity to really reach those goals. Or sometimes I even just figure out what the goals are. I've been trying to do this thing where like, out my goals. Oh, yeah, I was just talking, I think my phone cut off. So anyway, more or less, I just want to be more intentional. I want to take uh, the opportunities I have to be more intentional. I probably could cut out the last five minutes of my talking and just to say that. But that's all I'm going to say. I want to be more intentional with my time. Say it with me. I want to be more intentional with my time. So that's my little rant. That's my little update. Um, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. So made it to my parents' house, uh, but you know sometimes life is just full of surprises. And guess what my surprise was? Hey, y'all. Hey. Hi. Look at the sickly one. So yeah, so they ended up coming over to the house because uh, Asa wanted to come see his G pop up. And so they came. So now we're over here and I'm not going back home, uh, which I'm not mad about at all because I get to chill for a second. Like I said to y'all earlier, maybe I get to work on some things that I wanted to work on. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too loud because Asa is throwing his toys everywhere. But um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Spend some time with my family. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna say it again. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know, show us some love. Cause 
you know, love is nice. <laughs> and always remember, we love, we love you. you. God loves you. You my friend? You love.